Eric Church. He's a mix of country rock, outlaw country, and southern rock. Church is known by wearing his staple aviators and has been signed to Capitol Records since 2005. Throughout his career so far, he's released six studio albums, two live albums, two extended plays, and 28 singles, including six as a featured artist. He's had multiple number one hits on the country billboard, including Drink In My Hand and The Only Way I Know with Jason Aldean. And how could we forget this moment, when in 2020, he took home the CMA Entertainer of the Year Award? I think, I believe this, I really believe this. It's gonna be music that brings us out of this. You can say Church has had a successful music career, but we want to know more about the singer. If you've been subscribed to our channel for a while now, you know what's headed your way. We've got six facts about the singer that might come as a surprise to you. I'm Addison Haker for Taste of Country, and let's dive in. But do me a favor real quick and click that subscribe button and click that notification bell. Alrighty, let's do this. Question number one. Eric Church helped this country superstar catch a big break. A. Luke Combs. B, Old Dominion, C, Taylor Swift, or D, Riley Green. You best believe that it's C, Taylor Swift. So here's what happened. It was honestly an accident. Church was fired from the Rascal Flats tour in 2006 for playing too long as their opener. And boom, insert Swift to take his place. Church said she would owe him her first gold record for helping give her a boost in the country music industry, but she actually followed through. She sent him one of her first gold records with a note, quote, thanks for playing too long and too loud on the Flats tour. I sincerely appreciate it, Taylor. Question number two, how did Eric Church get his nickname? A, in college, B, from a fan, C, his mom, or D, his grandfather? It's D, his grandfather. Church's nickname is Chief. It may seem random, but it's from his grandfather who was also nicknamed Chief. His band happened to also give him the nickname without knowing his grandfather also coined the nickname, but labeled him Chief after he donned his staple wardrobe of aviator glasses to shows once his contacts started drying out from the bright lights and he needed to find a way to fix that. Talking to Sounds Like Nashville more about it in 2017. Quote, so when it was showtime, it was just kind of my uniform. The band started joking with me, but when I put the hat and sunglasses on, they go, all right, it's Chief time. Chief's here, but I laughed about it. It was a joke. Question number three. In 2017, Eric had a life-saving surgery. What happened? A, fell off stage, B, blood clot, C, stroke, or D, fainted. It's B, he had a blood clot. In 2017, the singer had emergency surgery after a life-threatening blood clot formed in his chest. Church ended up having to have a rib removed. He noticed issues in his hands towards the end of one of his tours that year, but didn't think too much of it, telling Rolling Stone, quote, I just associated it with nerves. I didn't think it was anything. But after noticing consistent concern in his left hand, he sought out help. Quote, I was thinking about my family and kids and how I wanted to make it back home. But I was also thinking about the tour and what we went through. I looked back and I honestly felt pretty satisfied that I couldn't have given another thing. He would come to find out that he had a blood clot due to a birth defect called thoracic outlet syndrome. We're doing a quick check-in because we're halfway there. Who's three for three? Let us know your favorite fact about church so far in the comments below. Okay, wiggle those fingers because we're jumping back in. Question number four. How are Eric Church and Willie Nelson alike? A, outlaw country singers, B, enjoy marijuana, C, live life on the edge, or D, like nice cars. So we guess technically both A and B could work, but the correct answer here is B, they both enjoy marijuana. In fact, Blake Shelton and Luke Bryan joked about the singer being pro-cannabis during an ACM award show joking that Church was the modern day Willie Nelson because his dressing room smelled like a dispensary. Question number five, rumor has it Eric Church carries a list of people that have done him dirty. Is this true or false? Oh, it's true. Yep, so you probably don't want to ever get on Church's bad side because most likely he's not going to forget it. The singer has a list of people who have thrown obstacles his way throughout his career and carries them on stage with him when he sings. 
I guess that's one way to stay motivated. So remember when we said Rascal Flatts fired him and replaced him with Taylor Swift? Yeah, they could potentially be on that list. And last question. Question number six. Eric's record label didn't want him to release this hit single. In fact, they thought it would kill his career. Which song was it? A, some of it, B, Springsteen, C, Smoke, a little smoke, or D, Round Here Buzz? B, Smoke, a little smoke. Drag a little drink, smoke a little smoke. Here's what Church had to say in an interview with Spin.com back in 2013. Quote, I was told it would be my funeral if I released it, that there just wasn't any way you could put a song like that out. I knew the crowd was into it, and if those people are wrong, then we're all wrong. I saw fit to force it, and the song changed our career. It turned things around for us when the radio started playing it. The music got to win. Hit the thumbs up button if you're glad the music won. And then flash forward to 2021, and during an interview with Kelly Bannon, he touched on this topic again. This time noting exactly who pushed back. It was the head of his label, Mike Dungan. It seemed to have been a pretty heated conversation. Quote, so we sat there and I said, hey, I'm out there every night and smoke a little smoke is tearing it up. I said they're climbing the walls. And he goes, not going to happen. And well, you know how that story eventually ended. Matt threw his hands up and gave in. The song, while not a hit, ended up really defining his career and led his success on the Chief album, his breakout album. How many did you get correct? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're a diehard Eric Church fan, give this video a thumbs up. I'm Addison Hager for Takes of Country. Thanks for watching. We're glad you played along. And as always, thanks for subscribing.